Hey guys, welcome back to another again side of iOS development tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how you can create an app icon with Figma. So, what I'm going to do is just create a new project like this and it's nice and blank so if I zoom out you can see it's all blank. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the shapes button and create a rectangle. So this is going to be our base starting point and uh, what I like to do is make this as big as I can so I, I like to use 1300 by 1300 but you can use anything since it'll just become a square and yeah so now what we can do is we can actually uh, this can be our square and this is actually going to be our icon so you can put whatever you want inside of here but you should also remember so let me just create a quick little thing so let's create the background uh, we can make this something like a gradient so on this side we'll have a purple like that then on this side we can have a blue like that and yeah something like that so it actually looks pretty cool and let's say we wanted to add some text so let's say my app and I should definitely make that like a lot bigger so let me make this 400 big and put that there uh, sure anyway so let's say this is what our thing looks like uh, let me make this bold I can also change the fill color like that so uh, we could just do this and that would actually be a pretty nice thing except you know you probably want like a logo and things like that uh, I just realized you can't do that but the thing is what you need to remember is if your thing if your um, if your text is too large you'll just get covered by the curve so let's say you made this like 700 okay that's way too big uh, 600 and you know it might fit on a screen here but now that actually looks really bad but uh, let's just say we can group this together and turn it into a group and now you should probably test what this looks like uh, without the actual like with the bends in it so to do that all you want to do is oh, Okay, so all you want to do is you can copy and paste your group like that. I'll just rename this to logo rounded. And then go to the actual background and you can change this. Actually, no, you can just change the entire thing to have a rounded corner like that. Oh, right, wait, okay, you can change the background like that. And now you. Wait, what? Oh, I've rounded one thing, okay. So don't, don't uh, make this thing have rounded corners make this thing have rounded corners, oh, and uh, move this, oh my god ok, you know what? let me just delete this real quick ok, let's try this again, ok, so we have our app, app logo here in a group and you know, it looks pretty nice, but let's say you wanted to see what it looks like if it was rounded so, you'd copy and paste that, move it over here and let me just rename this logo rounded and to test what it looks like uh, if it was an actual app so since you have 1300 by 1300 you would also have to set the corner radius to 290 and that's uh, specific to how uh, the width but yeah I, wrote, I know it's, 1, it's 290 for 1300 but yeah this is actually how the app the logo will look on the home screen so you want to make sure that these uh, letters and anything you have inside of here is actually still visible inside and you know this is actually this still fits but I think it looks quite bad since uh, it's like really close to the edges so what I would do is I would just make sure it's a bit closer to the middle like that and actually let me see if I can do that no you can't uh, what about this oh ok you can so let's make this 500 ok so uh, yeah I would say this is the sort of thing you're looking for uh, let me bring this a tiny bit down but yeah, you want to make sure this text is centered. You might want to have your logo here. And yeah, this is how you test and create a uh, logo in Figma. So 1300 by 1300, and the corner ratio would be 290 if you want to see what it looks like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!